today I am bringing you a very neutral brown look coming from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. Um, I'm starting with the bare face and I'm going to take you through everything. I'm using the Shu Amora light bulb foundation with the um, dampen light bulb sponge. And I'm just going to you know, put that all over the face, um, getting my hair out of my face first. And then, um, you know, blending that in really well. I actually really, really love this foundation, and that brush is am or that sponge is amazing. And so sorry to be on the phone while I'm doing this. Um, my husband actually called and was trying to tell me something important right in the middle of filming. So versus stopping what I'm doing because I was in a hurry, I decided to keep going. <laughs> actually talking to my son and his friends. They're in the room next to me actually playing video games. And then you'll probably see me in the next you know, few minutes telling my daughter no and trying to basically just stop the insanity around me. <laughs> um, I'm now taking the um, Inglot powder, pressed powders and I'm going to be reviewing them very soon. I've already got all the swatches and stuff done, but... Um, I love them. They're actually really nice. They set my foundation really nicely without actually looking, you know, powdery at all. It just looks like a nice um, velvety satin finish. Oh, <laughs> and Reagan's knocking down the ring light. And now I'm taking the HD uh, sculpting powder from Inglot, and I'm going to chisel out some sort of a cheekbone. <laughs> um, I have a really round face, so getting it to look sort of structured is sort of a task. And these are actually some really nice matte powders that help me achieve a contoured look. And as you can see, they do a really good job. Um, they blend in really easy and the powders are just so nice. I'm actually taking um, a smaller brush and going to contour my nose out as well because there's it's an odd shape. It's like sort of thin and then it gets sort of bulbous -y and rounded at the end. So I just wanted to create an overall same look all the way down my nose and that helps me do that. I'm now taking the lighter of the sculpt powders and I'm going to highlight the planes of my face. And now I'm taking Max Floor Power and I'm just going to, you know, brush that on. It actually doesn't look like it's going to be as strong as it is. And then I'm like, whoa, that's a lot. So I took my Kabuki brush and um, blended out a little bit. And I went ahead and went into the to the other side of my face doing it the exact same way just so it would be symmetrical and, you know, cohesive. Yep, just doing a spot check to make sure everything looks good. Um, you can probably see my daughter in the background in the next couple of shots. <laughs> She's trying to get into everything. Um, but anyway, so now I'm taking the Pixie um, Natural Brow Duo, and I'm just going to line up my brows and fill them in.
So now I'm going in with the Lorac Palette's um, eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to put that all over the lid to um, basically help the eyeshadows to blend a little bit and because um, it is sort of a moisturizing silky feel and also to keep them locked and staying in place all day. So I'm taking the Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to go in with the color Mocha. I'm going to put Mocha all over the lid on both eyes and um, sort of try to blend that up a little bit. Anyway, I'm now going to take the shade Nectar and I'm going to blend out the crease um, just to sort of make a nice transitional um, gradient up from my actual um, lids to the brow color area. And it's going to make for a nice um, backdrop for the color Cocoa that I'm going to be applying next. I'm going to put that into the outer V and then blend it all the way into my crease just for a sort of a you know dark brown smoky effect And this is the part that you don't really want to skip. You're going to want to keep blending and blending that out until it looks just sort of uh, flawless and effortless. And now I'm taking the shade beige and I'm going into the inner corner to highlight. Um, and then I'm going to actually sort of um, blow out the front. Um, and go over some of the actual lid shade just to blend it even more and to create an even brighter look. And now to add some drama, I'm using a black liner and I'm going to go in and tight line as well as put down on the waterline um, because I just like, whenever I do a smoky look, I like to have just super jet black lashes and liner. I'm not going to the top part of the eye, the top lash line, because I don't want to take away from um, what I have going on up there. I just want to have a big impact on my lashes. And now I'm taking that mocha shade and I'm actually lining the um, bottom lash line to tie it in to the top. And for some reason I did not want, or I wanted to go back in with more color, I guess I decided that I, you know, it wasn't dark enough for me. So I went in with um, a real text, uh, a real technique brush, and got even more color down into the crease. Now I'm taking the shade called Black, and I'm actually um, going over the other liner that I put down, just to sort of. Um, set it so it can last longer throughout the day and to make it just a little bit more black. I wanted it to be very intense. If you have sensitive eyes I may would skip this part because it is a loose powder that you're putting onto your eyes. I personally love it 
um, but definitely it's up to you. Now for some mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. It's new. Um, I've really been liking it. I mean, it's um, still new to me, so I'm trying to get the hang of it more and more. Um, but it's brand new. I just bought it at Walgreens just a couple days ago. Okay, so for the finishing touch, I'm going to put on the MAC High Tea Lipstick. Um, I actually went for a different color a second ago, and it was just way too cool tone for the look, so I stepped back from that. Um, but anyway, that is the finished look. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. Go ahead and hit subscribe, and I will see you soon.